I'm sure you've heard the horror stories, bugs, lies, and unacceptable performance on last-gen consoles. But what if I told you that beneath the lack of polish, there's an incredible story of lovable characters and intense moral dilemmas. And it's been there since day one. Cyberpunk's narrative is a deep, dark, depressing 25 hours, full of realistic and well-written characters and delivering perfectly on the promise of its world. Through the eyes of the main character V, you'll bear witness to corporate corruption, body modification, and some of the most despicable criminals in video game history. But the more important focus of Cyberpunk 2077 is on the relationships you form with the people of Night City. You'll earn their trust, companionship, and sometimes even love. Seriously, CDPR has done something truly remarkable with the design of their characters. Although many would argue that Cyberpunk suffers from a lack of choice, that certainly isn't true when it comes to gameplay. From an unstoppable bruiser to a silent but deadly netrunner, Cyberpunk offers near limitless ways to approach combat. So even if the gunplay isn't your style, you'll no doubt be able to find something that works for you. One thing is clear, CD Projekt Red lied. Or did they? You see, every game makes promises, but at the end of the day, things happen and stuff gets cut. Deleted scenes in movies and TV shows, and of course, it's the same in video games. But does that mean it's all a lie? No. There is almost always a reason. We see this happen all the time. But the thing we don't usually see is a 50 minute deep dive into the mechanics of a game, and certainly not over two years before it releases. To be honest, it's pretty remarkable that this initial gameplay reveal is so close to what we have now. Besides, even if you don't agree, that is why it says work in progress and that the footage does not represent the final product. But clearly, that's not a popular opinion. So why not take a look at what supposedly the game should have been? Now, I'm not going to waste your time by running through every little detail, but I've noticed that most of the arguments surrounding this initial showcase share one core problem. Sure, this animation looks absolutely fantastic, but do you really want to see it every time you hack an enemy? It just doesn't make sense in gameplay, and that's the problem with almost all of these comparisons. Again, here you're given loads of choices as to who your character is, but I fail to see how these would have a bigger impact on the actual game than the current system. If a game makes you enter the name of the dead goldfish you flushed down the toilet 10 years ago, that doesn't make it an incredibly detailed genre-defining RPG. It's it's just a superficial choice. Another constant accusation is the belief that CDPR somehow lied about third-person cutscenes. Acting like first-person is objectively worse. This is quite simply not a downgrade, it's a design choice. And you can't possibly expect everything to stay the same after two years of additional development. Look, maybe you did prefer the old user interface, cutscenes, and prolonged animations. But to say these are all big marketing lies instead of subjective changes is just ridiculous. The truth is, this demo is so similar to the final version. The mission choices, the combat, and arguably the graphics have gotten better. Of course, the complaints aren't limited to this particular video, but it has arguably been the biggest point of comparison. I won't make excuses for the game's poor performance or buggy state at launch, but there seems to be an ever-present narrative that somehow, even after it's patched up, it's still a bad game, which makes no sense whatsoever. Anyway, that's just my opinion, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments below.